Hello friends, today in this video I am going to discuss about the MCQs on general microbiology and this is the seventh part of the series of 500 MCQs on general microbiology. So let's start the question answer session on general microbiology with explanation. So the first so the first question is antisera are sterilized in autoclave in hot air oven by filtration or by tindalization. And the right one is option C that is by filtration. So antisera is sterilized by filtration and the filtration technique is this. So here it here the antisera or sample is added and here a membrane filter is present. So through the membrane filter the sample is passed through and collected in a collected connected uh, bottle okay and after the filtration then the membrane filter is removed and added to the petri plate with the specific agar culture agar uh, agar petri dish okay and then after incubation we can see the colonies which are trapped in this membrane filter okay so move on to the next one that is bacterial capsule is Synonymous with glycocalyx contributes to the invasiveness of bacteria plays a major role in adherence of bacteria to the surface does not protect organism from phagocytosis and the right one is option B that is bacterial flagella contributes to the invasiveness of bacteria and this bacterial capsule which is a gelatinous layer which made up of polysaccharide in nature and it is a antiphagocytic molecule antiphagocytic compound and it is a antigenic and also it helps the bacteria to adhere with the other microorganisms or other human cells okay <clears throat> and here we can see that uh, blue part is the core bacteria and the outer outer cover is the capsule structure Okay, so move on to the next question that is all our transport media except Stewart's media, carry player medium, wear medium or heartless medium and the right answer is option D. Heartless medium is the transport media. Next one is blood culture can recover all bacteria except bacteroids, fragilis, salmonella typhi, corinibacterium diphtheri and brucella melitensis. And the right answer is option C that is Corinibacterium cor diphtheri. And next one is the limit of resolution with the unaided eye is 100 micron, 200 micron, 500 micron or 1000 micron. And the right answer is option B that is 200 micron. Approx 200 micron is the limit of resolution of our eye. Here we can see that in our by our eye we can uh, distinguish between two points which are more than 0 0.2 or more than 0 0.3 millimeter or more than 200 micrometer okay so move on to the next one that is cassonis antigen is sterilized by chambers line filter sheets filter sintered glass filter or membrane filter and the right one is the option b that is sheets filter and this filtered disc with pore so fine that they will not permit passage of bacteria solution emerge sterile okay and a bacterial filter made up of and this back this sheet filter it made up of asbestos and used to sterilize solution without the use of heat and here we can see this is the sheet filter instrument and here the asbestos filter pad is present Okay, so move on to the next question that is tindalization is heating for 3 successive days at 80 degrees Celsius to 85 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes, 100 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes or 80 degrees Celsius to 85 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes or 100 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes and the right one is the option B that is 100 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes is the is used for tindalization process and this tindalization process is they are developed by John Tyndall and this tindalization process is also called intermittent boiling or discontinuous boiling where the nutrient broth or nutrient media at first boil <coughs> at 100 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes in a 
first day and then it cool it and incubate it so after incubation if any uh, endospores are present in this media then who, that will generate in the next day and then in the next day again we will boil the solution and then cool and incubate it and if any other bacteria any other uh, endospores are present here then that will also <coughs> can be killed by the boiling in the next day so in a successive three days by this uh, 100 uh, by this uh, heating process we can <coughs> sterilize the media completely by this tenderization process okay so move on to the next question that is all are motile except vibrio cholerae salmonella gallinarum gallinarum pseudomonas aeruginosa enterobacter caculi and the right answer is option B, Salmonella gallinarum. So next one is the following bacteria is motile that are Klebsiella pneumoniae, Shigella flexionary, Clostridium perfringens, Clostridium titani. And the right one is option D, that is Clostridium titani, is a motile bacteria. And the right and the next one is all are capsulated except Foreignibacterium neoformans. Is uh, Staphylococcus pneumoniae, Klebsiella pneumoniae, or Pseudomonas aeruginosa? And the right one is option D, that is Pseudomonas aeruginosa, is a capsulated one. And here we can see capsule is the present outer side of the cell wall. Okay, and it is required for the addition of the cell to the other cell, and it is the virulence factor of the bacterial cell. Okay. Here we can see this is the bacterial cell and this is the outer capsule structure. Okay, so move on to the next question that is chocolate agar is enriched medium, vessel medium, enrichment medium or selective medium and the right one is option A that is enriched medium. So chocolate agar is an enriched medium and this chocolate agar is a non-selective enriched growth medium containing red blood cells that have been lysed by slowly heating to 80 degrees Celsius and this chocolate agar is used for growing fastidious bacteria such as Haemophilus influenzae. So here the, in chocolate agar blood is added as an enriched medium, enriched uh, nutrient. Okay. So move on to the next one that is R factor consists of F and F prime factors only F factors RTF plus R determinants or only RTF here F means fertility R means resistance and RTF means resistance transfer factor okay so the right answer is option C that is RTF plus R determinants and here we can see R factor or RTF means resistance transfer factor and this R factor is equal to F factor plus antibiotic resistance genes that means the plasmid which contain antibiotic resistance gene okay that are the resistance factor so next question is resolution power of ordinary light microscope is 10 micron or 1 micron or 0 0.1 micron or 0 0.01 micron and the right answer is option c that is 0 0.1 micron and here the resolving power is defined as the minimum distance existing between two points where they still appear as separate and the resolving power determines how much detail can be seen in naked eye that is and in naked eye the resolving power is 0 0.1 millimeter and the light microscope the resolving power is 0 0.2 micrometer okay so the next question is resolving power of electron microscope is 0 0.0 0 0.1 micron 0 0.01 micron 0. 1 nanometer or 0 0.01 nanometer and the right one is option D that is 0 0.01 nanometer is the resolving power of the electron microscope. Next one is the protoplast. What is protoplast? Protoplast are derived from gram negative bacteria or are unable, uh, unstable and osmotically fragile are produced by growth with penicillin or retain remnants of the cell wall and the right one is the option B that is protoplast are unstable and osmotically fragile so here we can see the protoplast structure so <coughs> protoplast is a cell wall lack 
silver lack uh, bacteria so in gram positive suppose this is the gram positive cell and if the gram is the cell wall of the gram positive cell is removed then the gram positive cell is called the protoplast so protoplast is the cell wall lack gram positive bacteria so if in the gram negative bacteria the cell wall is removed then the gram negative bacteria is called the spheroplast and both of this form of uh, <coughs> structure is known as bacterial L form okay so move on to the next question that is indicator used in sugar media is phenol red cresol red neutral red or andrates and the right one is option D that is andrates and next question is indicator in thioglycolate broth is bromocresol purple bromothymol blue andrates or phenol red and the right answer is option B that is bromothymol blue is the indicator in thioglycolate broth and this thioglycolate broth is used as a anaerobic broth and here the thioglycolate broth is and here we can discuss this uh, fluid thioglycolate media is made with an oxygen gradient this oxygen gradient separate bacteria based on their ability to survive or tolerate the different concentration of oxygen so based on this the anaerobic environment in anaerobic, anaerobic environment the environment that has low oxygen concentration and aerobic environment environment that has a high oxygen concentration so here we can see this in the this part the concentration of oxygen is low in this part the concentration of oxygen is highest okay so obligate aerobes will uh, form the colonies here uh, show the growth here and obligate anaerobes show here growth and facultative anaerobes show in this region and aerotolerant anaerobes present in all over the culture tube okay so move on to the next question that is all are ureus positive organisms except Klebsiella pneumoniae, Salmonella typhi, Pseudomonas mirabilis or M. motogani and the right answer is option B that is Salmonella typhi. So Salmonella typhi is not a ureus positive organism. Okay, so here we can see that ureus test is the test organism is uh, the test organism is cultured in a medium which contain urea and the indicator phenol red. So the media contain urea and phenol red. When the strain or bacteria is urea is producing, the enzyme will break down the urea to give ammonia and carbon dioxide. With the release of ammonia, the medium become alkaline as shown by a change in the color of the indicator to pink red. So positive urea test show pink color okay so move on to the next question that is citrate positive bacteria is salmonella typhi salmonella paradyphi b shigella flexionary or estrechia coli and right answer is option b that is salmonella paradyphi b is a citrate positive bacteria and the citrate positive or citrate fermentation test is done in the simon citrate agar where <coughs> bromothymol blue is used as the indicator if the uh, if the microorganism use citrate as a carbon then they break down the citrate and ultimately they show the blue color that is the positive citrate utilization test okay so next one is the indicator in McConkey's agar is phenol red neutral red cresol red or andrates and the right one is option b that is neutral red and here we can see them these are the McConkey agar and this McConkey agar is a selective and differential media selective because gram positives gram positive bacteria are inhibited by the bile salt and only the gram negative can grow and it is called differential because it has lactose and gram negative that ferment lactose turn yellow color so we can differentiate gram negative organisms by their color okay so we can differentiate so next one is the Lauerstein Janssen medium is sterilized by filtration, inspisation, autoclaving, or tindalization. And the right one is op and option B, that is inspisation. 
and the Lowerstein Zanson medium produced popularly known as LJ medium is a growth medium specially used for culture of the mycobacterium notably mycobacterium tuberculosis when grown on LJ medium mycobacterium tuberculosis appears as brown granular like colonies like this okay so next question is operation theaters are sterilized by glut glutaraldehyde gamma radiation ethylene oxide or ultraviolet rays and the right answer is option D that is ultraviolet rays. So operation theaters are sterilized by ultraviol ultraviolet or UV rays. Here we can see ultraviolet ray rays are used to sterilize the operation theater. <coughs> Next one is the triple sugar iron agar detects all except lactose fermentation, sucrose fermentation, mannitol fermentation, gas, gas production. And the right one is the answer C. Option C that is the mannitol fermentation so triple sugar iron agar don't detect the mannitol fermentation so triple sugar iron triple sugar so in this agar three sugars are present for the bacteria so that are the lactose sucrose and glucose and also iron is present okay so next one is the special component of cell wall of gram positive bacteria is Ticoic acid, lipoprotein, polysaccharide or lipopolysaccharide. The right answer is option A that is ticoic acid. And here we can see. So this is the semi permeable membrane or cell membrane. And this is the peptidoglycan layer of the cell wall. And in the cell wall of the gram positive bacteria, cell wall of the gram positive bacteria, some ticoic acids are present in the peptidoglycan layer. Okay. So next one, the last question is, if a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius is applied for 2 to 3 minutes, it will kill all forms of bacteria or it kill all forms of bacteria except spores, kill only acid first bacteria and not kill any form of bacteria. And the right answer is option B. So in 100 degrees Celsius, that will kill all forms of bacteria except spores. Okay. So these are the all questions. So thank you for watching this video.